So your Windows Start key is not working. You click on it and nothing happens. The menu doesn't appear. The first thing you need to do is to reactivate the button and then fix it in the long term. I will be showing it on Windows 11, which is the latest Windows version at the time I'm making this video, but for Windows 10 the process will be the same. So what you need to do is either click on empty desktop space and then press Alt F4 on your keyboard. Please note that on some keyboards, and especially on laptops, you may need to also press Fn button, which is function button, to actually be able to press F4, since otherwise the F row is used for media functions. Anyway, after you click Alt F4, the Windows shutdown menu will appear, where you have to select Restart. After your PC restarts, the Start button should be working again. Another way to restore the Windows Start key functionality is to press Win and R on your keyboard. It will open the Run menu. Here type in CMD, which will open the command prompt. And here you will need to enter the first command, like so, which will kill Explorer Exe, that's the main file that is responsible for Windows UI. The taskbar will completely disappear, that's okay, don't worry. Just type in explorer.exe, press enter, and everything will be restarted. After the reboot, or the explorer restart, the Windows button should work again, and when you click on power, most probably you will have some pending updates, and that's the reason why the start button was not working. So select update and restart, and after that the Windows button should work. For the long time fix, you may find a very weird solution online, which involves running DCOM config, opening your computer properties there, switching default authentication level to none, clicking apply, and then switching it back to connect and clicking apply again. Even though this will fix this issue, it's more of a correlation than causation. The problem you're having this trouble with Windows key is that you have fast startup enabled in your Windows. Fast startup is a very idiotic feature from Microsoft, which was supposed to make startup faster in the days of booting from mechanical hard drives. However, in modern times, when most people will use an SSD as a boot drive, this startup may even take longer to boot your Windows than having it disabled. So basically what you need to do is to go to your power plan, find a little link which says choose what power buttons do or something like this. In the next screen, press on the shield icon that will make the grayed out section accessible and remove the fast startup tick. Make sure you apply the settings, reboot your computer, and this will eliminate many problems in the future as well. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.